Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Vivid Voltage video. Today, guys, we're looking at a really cool deck I made here, and this is going to be my Weavile Aurora box deck. Now, there is a thing with this deck that you might notice. It is a toolbox deck of attackers. The main strategy is we're going to be putting Weavile and Sylvalian play through the card red and blue. Basically, you may discard two cards from your hand, and you can search your deck for an evolution, GX Pokemon, so Savali or Weavile. And you can also attach up to two basic energies to that Pokemon when you evolve it. So ideally, we can go red and blue and get a Weavile in play and then put two energy in play while we're doing it, which is really good. And we can move that energy around freely with Shadow Connection. There's a lot of ways you could probably play this archetype, but the way I'm going to play it is Aurora Box. Now, Aurora Energy doesn't actually work with Weavile's ability, but that's fine because we can always attach the energy from our hand. It's not really that big of a deal. And we can choose an attacker for a certain matchup Rhyperior for Eternatus and Pika, Ninetales for Zacian, Milotic for Senna Scorch and Dreshizard, and DDV for Mewtwo or any deck in general that uses energy. And then I'm even playing Umbreon Darkrai and Sableye here for also pretty cool stuff. So I actually really like this deck. It's a lot of fun to play. I think Red and Blue Weavile Box is kind of cool. So yeah, before we get the video, guys, course, shout out to the sponsor, Card Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cabin, guys. Card Cabin, of course, sells PDCGO codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are looking for any set code, whether it be Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield Base Set, Dark of the Blaze, Cosmic Clips. Get them over at Car Crab. And if you guys are looking for a specific other code, whether it be a specific VGX promo code, or you guys want to get that Trainer Toolkit, or the ADP Station and Battle Kit code, get over at Car Crab. And if you get any codes over there, you guys can use my discount code, code LDF, at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up at Car Crab too. Shout out to Car Crab, guys. Check them out. If you get any codes, use code LDF. Let's take a look at the list. This is what I'm playing with here. Again, really, I really like this deck a lot. Now, I do have another Weavile deck using Mewtwo instead of the Aurora box, but for now, we're going to focus on the Aurora box aspect. And maybe I'll do the Mewtwo video for a Patreon video. Uh, but yeah, it's just a toolbox of attackers. Um, nothing really special here. <laughs> um, obviously, again, Red and Blue is the MVP of this deck, allowing us to put the Evolution at Stage 1 in play alongside two extra energy um, in play. So Volley helps for draw, too. Just having the ability to Disc Healer is really good. Um, and then, of course, we have the Tag Call package here, which is really cool. We're playing four of them. We do also play Guz Mahala. Um, this can get us Aurora Energy, pretty much. And then, of course, it can also get us yeah, Aurora Energy Air Balloon. I don't play a Stadium, but yeah, there's no room for Stadium. It's actually a bit of a tight on space deck. But yeah, all the attackers are in here. Um, pretty much, they're just, again, for the certain matchups. The only attacker I don't have is technically a grass attacker. But there isn't really a good grass attacker I could think of that would work. Like, if you look at all the grass Pokemon, right? The best one, honestly, you could power up would be Celebi V, which does 50 plus 200 damage for each of your bench Pokemon. But does that even one-shot Colossal with a full bench? I don't think it does. I guess, like, Orbeetle could go in here. Um, Orbital VMAX go in here, but they have to play another stage one. So, like, there's not really a good grass tiger for the Colossal matchup. But against Colossal, you can still win by using Ninetales. And, of course, my Lotic's really good. And DDV is also pretty good. So, you actually have really good attackers in the matchup. It's not really that hard of a matchup to begin with, but it is something to consider. Um, but, yeah, those are your attackers. Uh, going to the items now. I am playing a Rod to put the attacker back in the deck. Um, so, you can use it twice. Four Quick Ball, four Calm, four Tag Call, again, to get your stuff. Two Bosses Order, one Kaelin Cynthia, two Guzmahala, one Malana, two Research, three Red and Blue, um, three air balloon because everything like has a true tree cost four roar energy and then nine basic dark to round out the energy count again a lot of fun to play this deck you use it kind of tactically um you choose what pokemon you think would be right best in that you know certain scenario so it's like oh playing against a mewtwo mew tag team gx well sometimes um Umbreon on dark can be really good or in ddv can be good to one shot them so you have a lot of options with this deck which i have what i like about it we're gonna try it out see if we can win a couple games and see how this deck does all right guys get into another match we've won the coin flip We'll see what we're playing against. Could be a welder deck here, which is fine. We have my low tick. We'll just see what we get a good start again and kind of just pop off with the Weavile and all that good stuff. We are going to mulligan here. See if we get a better hand. We do get the double. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to put Sneeze on the active because I actually prioritize type null for draw. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Maybe I should have... Nah, I don't think it matters what I start with here. Uh, we can always get another Sneasel down, which you probably have to do anyways. Ooh, Mewtwo. Okay. So... How am I doing this? I think we're going to have to calm the Sylvali. I think we do have to get another Sneasel. Oh my god, we prized in DDV. 
We prized the most important attacker in this matchup. In the matchup, we needed it. And we also prized an Aurora energy. Right. Well, that's uh, very fun. Uh, I don't know what my main attacker is going to be now, to be honest. I guess, like, Rhyperior? I mean, we prized our most important attacker. What, what am I supposed to say to that? Oh my gosh, game. How are you going to do me like that? <laughs> Not like this. Ah, uh, no, bro. It's, it's indeedy. So how do we take out this Mewtwo? Like, we can go Rhyperior. We can drill... Okay, they're going to go into the Vulk anyways. We could knock out the Volcano with Silvali. Try to get the Indeedee off the prizes. But then we have to do another Red and Blue to get the energy back into play. Yeah, I don't know about that. That just sucks, man. That sucks so much. Prizing our main attacker. They might bench a Fire Pokemon, though. We can maybe boss up with my Lotic. Like, they could bench a Reshizard here, right? We'll see, though. That's not good, though. Prizing the most important attacker in this matchup... It's not ideal, but that'll happen sometimes, I guess, when you're playing this deck. Sometimes you're going to prize your your main attacker, and then you have to try to use alternate attackers. I guess, like, I don't know. We Umbreon Darkrai, honestly, might... No, but then we just get Flare Blitzed. Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. I'm just kind of bummed out we prize that. I guess we can, like, my low tick knock out the big teeny. I mean, my low tick can still hit the Mewtwo pretty hard. Does have a... Th What's like a two or three cost? We can still two-shot it. Um, I've seen this deck list before where they use, they actually aren't playing Aurora. It's just like a pure fire deck. So I don't think they actually play Aurora. So we don't have to worry about Maracas duo. That's cool. Flare Blitz though is pretty bad. Without being able to one shot them, we kind of have to walk in on that Flare Blitz GX attack, don't we? It's unfortunate. Okay. Quick ball. Like... Hmm. I mean, literally, I don't think we have that great of an attack option here. I actually don't think we use my low tick just yet. We do have the rod in the deck, though. Rhyperior, but it gets one shot by Flare Strike. I think I just maybe get Nine Tails. I don't know. Like we can hit them. We can hit their Maracas duo. We can actually draw five cards here. Yeah. Sorry, Caitlin, Cynthia. Your sacrifice has been achieved. Okay, so we didn't get the red and blue, and that's unfortunate. We can knock out their Volcanion here with Silvali. Let me lose our draw. Yeah, I don't really like that. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. They're just gonna knock me out Volcanion. I mean, we maybe... Uh, I don't know, this is not good. Guzmahala doesn't really get us anything. We could just do Agility. I don't really want to lose my Silvali. I think I am just going to do Agility here and just hope for the best. Heads. Busted. Now they need to find a boss. They have a pretty big hand, so they're probably going to boss me this turn. Yeah, I don't really want to lose Silvali, right? So we're just going to try to protect it if we can. Make him find a boss. We bought ourselves a turn by doing Agility, too. Or Water type. We hit it for 20. Not really relevant, but you know what? In my books, it is relevant. Yeah, it's just, again, having a DD prize is just going to make this matchup a lot worse. If they ever bench, like, a Rushy Zard, though, we can always use my low tick to knock it out. We can use Ninetales, Copy Maracas, Duo, and... Um, we can actually heal everything. That'd be kind of cool. I don't think we ever put 4 energy on. But we can hit them for 200 damage, and then finish them off with, like, Rhyperior or Silvali or something. And we told them off a boss. They have a pretty big hand. They probably have it. My opponent always has the boss's order when they need it, but we'll see... They don't have the boss. We're big chillin'. We can a boss. Maybe we can. If everything goes well, maybe we can boss the Mewtwo and hit it with Silvali. That's, I want to. We need to hit this first, right? I want to hit this before it attacks me. All right, perfect. They somehow didn't have the boss. I'm color me surprised. Okay, there's the red and blue. Here's the thing, though. I kind of want to try to boss this Mewtwo. I'm gonna get rid of the Guzma Hall, huh? I'm gonna do disc reload. See if we can find boss no well then that's awkward looks like we have the red and blue we could go umbreon darkrai i mean we do hit it this for 60 but we can't even finish off with 90 yeah hitting the yeah that's not a good idea umbreon darkrai well we do have 
five no there's only five energy we could wait another turn and try to get six energy in play if we can ever boss this mewtwo that's actually so huge right we want to get the first hit on the mewtwo but we can't get there currently we could just go right period here and drill run remove their energy uh i feel honestly i feel like silvali is literally the best attacker here maybe we just get another silvali then yeah you know what i think we do I think we do get another Solvali just because we need to keep it so we can run a blue weave out next turn. So I think we do hit the Volcanian here. Knock out the Volcanian with Solvali. Mewtwo will knock me out. We could get Indeedee off the prizes. We'll see. Get Weavile in play now, I guess. Nah. I'm just gonna knock him out. Alright. Yeah, if we can hit the boy here, Indeedee V, we're chilling. Oh man, six prizes. Come on, Indeedee. No! Ah, uh, it's a Weavile though, I'll take it. I don't... Maybe we should... I don't know. I mean, it was gambling, but we have to get the Indeedee. Like, if we don't get Indeedee, we're not going to win this. I mean, well, we could still try to boss, right? If they, again, if they bench our Reshizard here, which I think they're going to try to Flare Strike me this turn. I don't think they want to waste their Flare Blitz. We can also go and knock him out Dark Moon, so it's really not that bad, actually. Yeah, maybe we're not in a bad spot. We can Dark Moon them here, I think. We have the ability to put six energy in play, but we have to put the Aurora on the Dark Ride. Okay, maybe we can win this. Our turn, we could maybe get a position where we... If they bench that Reshizard, we can knock it out with... Uh, what's his face? Milotic. Nope, that's not... That dream is now gone. Yeah, I think we Dark Moon... Yeah, if we Dark Moon the Mewtwo, we're golden. Well, okay, if they bench on their Mewtwo, Welder to it, get ready for a Flare Blitz on my... But they can't play Trainers. No, they're going to reset Stamp me. Well, there goes that play. No, we still got the Tag Call. Okay, never mind. We're still good. We need an Energy, though. No, I think we have it. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we knock him out with Dark Moon GX. Okay, okay. Hold on, game. Hold on a minute. Saying we have game. Okay. We just need to find an Energy to pull this off. No, it's not energy. One energy short kick W. We can always do Dene, so we're probably going to get there, right? Like, I feel like we're not going to not whiff it. Uh, might as well just get rid of the two comms. Keep the air balloon, so we can just spam air balloons on board. Okay, just making sure I'm doing my math correctly. Well, we only had one Weave on the deck. We're down bad. All right, here we go. And we just need to do... We'll do this reload first. We just need energy. We don't even have to do DNA if we don't have to. There we go. We got the energy. Cool. Big brain play. My opponent can't knock me out. They can't play Welder. So, that's good. Go three. All the energy on the Umbreon Dark right. Now we just gotta hope this thing survives. So now we can use Black Lance. They still have Flare Blitz, obviously, but... Even if this thing gets knocked out soon in the world, so. Yeah. I think we're on par to win this game. We just Dark Moon GX them. And that's game. Probably is game over, right? Yeah, there they go. They concede. So then I would have won the game with either Nine Tails on their Eldegoss, or we got in DDV off the prizes or something like that. I don't know. My low ticket could have won us the game, too. There you go. That was actually a better game than I thought it would. That was... I mean, prizing our main attacker sucks, but you know what? There's still enough good attackers in deck. Sometimes even prizing me attacker. It ain't the end of the world. I guess get into our next match with Weavile here. We've lost the coin flip. We'll see what my opponent is playing. Um, we'll see what we got going on. We got a Rhyperior start. Ooh, that could be good. I guess maybe this is good against ADP for drill run. So we'll see. Our start's actually not bad though. We have the turn two Weavile. Ooh, we're playing against a Gra- Ooh, we're playing against Ore Beetle. Starting with Rhyperior kind of sucks now, but we do have nine tails. Not too bad. They have weak guard energy though. Yeah, not 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 the starter we wanted to have in this matchup. We get kind of totaled by Orbeetle. We do have Nine Tails though. To be honest, I don't know if we can beat this. They're very tanky. We don't have the greatest attackers. I guess we have Sable IV. And I guess like Real Run to a degree could be okay against this, but they already got the energy on, so Rhyperior is not going to Well, actually it can't get one shot by Orbeetle, actually. So maybe we can play around that. Okay, maybe it's not too bad, actually. There's the Nine Tails. I'm actually going to Quick Ball Wiggles Mahal. I don't want to give away that I'm playing the Ninetales, just in case. 
Um, okay. Sableye's not bad either, I guess. Sableye can be used to one-shot them crazy claws. I can just attach and pass, and then next turn we can pop off with the red and blue. We can knock out their Snorlax, I guess, but we want to just knock out two Orb Beetles. We don't really care for the Snorlax. We'll see. I don't think they're going to bring it in the active, though. We do have Nine Tails, though, so, like, we can... Well, we can't one-shot them, actually, right? G-Max Wave. Yeah, we're only doing 300 damage. Actually, Nine Tails can't one-shot them. Oh, my gosh. This matchup is a disaster. I, well, we have Flamethrower, I guess. Yeah, I guess we can knock him out Flame, but then we get knocked out in return. I'd rather use Nine Tails Shapeshifter to knock him out, but... With only two energy on, we're only doing 300 damage. That's pretty bad, yeah. This matchup's gonna be pretty tough, not gonna lie. I think we're just gonna get rid of Air Balloon Tag Call. We're gonna have to probably Dedene here, to be honest with you. Gonna have to be the play. We can knock out the Snorlax here. It's not really good, though. Just calm. But we could go Crobat, actually. Keep the Aurora. Let's go Crobat. Keep the Aurora we get here i don't really know what the best option is we need like a gust or something i think yeah gust might be our like best friend here i have to be gust i'm gonna move the energy around so they don't knock out weavile here with a boss put one energy on everything just pass not much i can do this is not yeah not a great matchup we have to wait till the orb beetle comes in the active spot so we can knock it out with nine tails now they know i play it though so that's the problem we have a few options. We have Crazy Claws. Umbreon Darkrai actually wouldn't be bad either. Maybe we can work towards an Umbreon Darkrai play, actually. Maybe that's not bad. If they ever stay... If they just hit me for 100 here... I mean, we can draw run them, I guess. But then we get knocked out. We can't really move this. We have to mount on it. Yeah, Rhyperior is definitely the worst starter. And we got it. It's got the biggest retreat cost. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, they might play Mimikyu, actually. Oh, they actually do stay in the active. So we can drill run them here. And then, like, go crazy claws. Oh, we drew the boss. Well, we would have drawn it anyway. Yeah, we can drill run them. Let's see what we get here. Get Sableye. Well, we could rip a Mallow and Lana. We c Yeah, we can We can still get Mal and Lana. We should probably just get Ninetales, because we can still get Mal and Lana here to knock them out. Well, I don't know. Let's see what we get. Not Malana. So, yeah, I think we Drill Run. I don't know, actually, because we can still go with that Umbreon Darkrai play next turn. We need, well, we need to run blue, though. Bro, this matchup sucks. <laughs> we get them for 80, and then we can knock them out with Ninetale Shapeshifter. They get another energy on. They can also not attach. They're obviously going to go into the other Orb Beetle. But even that doesn't work. So we have to go, we have to go Sableye next turn. That's going to have to be the play. We're going to have to go Sableye next turn. I actually don't know what I want to get rid of here. I kind of want every card in my hand. Literally every card is relevant to the situation we're in. It's going to have to be the dark energy, I guess. I don't know. Draw run. Got to go draw run. Hope for the best. Yeah, we can we can knock him out with... Uh, we can knock him out with either the Nine Tails or the Sableye now. Oh, are they just going to knock me out in the active? That's fine. We still need an air balloon. We, oh, we're such a long way from winning this. Ah, this is bad. This is a bad matchup. Well, yeah, we have to go Sableye on the Orb Beetle here. Then we just got to finish the game off with Nine Tails, I guess. We need to find a rod, though, because we're going to lose three energy here. I'm kind of surprised, though, they're not going with this Orb Beetle, though, which is what they should be doing. They could also just sit behind Snorlax. Let me knock him out. It gives us another turn, which I would actually really like. Let's see what they do. Who's Mahala? Ooh, they might just get the Wonders Labyrinth. But they can't attack me if they do that. And then we can just go Drill Run again. Well, no, we can still go Sableye Knock Mode. They get Wonders Labyrinth here. That's actually, yeah, that's a bad card to get. Wonders Labyrinth now would be not ideal for my opponent. They can't attack me if they get that. Yeah, they're not going to get it. They could just sit behind the doll this turn, but then we... Well, we can't really boss, right? They have 230 HP. We're actually 20 off. Yeah, this... Rhyperior just sucks, man. It's too fat. Can't move. 
Okay, they are just gonna knock me out. All right, so we can knock them out as long as things go well. We'll see. Well, we can talk about nine tails, I guess. We always promote the nine tails here, I think. Doesn't have to be Sableye. Oh, now it has to be. All right, let's just calm for Sableye, I guess. Well, we could do Dede, actually. Yeah, we could just Dede change. Yeah, let's Dede change. Let's just dig. No, we need another energy. Okay, I think we have to Dede change then and try to find... Try to find the uh, Sableye and switch out. Didn't get it there. Yeah, I didn't really mean to get Rhyperior back. Whatever. It could be useful. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Here we go. Research. We need to find Air Balloon Sableye Energy, which we got. All right. So you didn't mean to put the Rhyperior back. You know what? Doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We still need a... Oh, we still need a Red and Blue, though. Because Sableye is going to get knocked out. We could sit back and just build ourselves up, though, so it's not too big of a deal. Just, yeah, we still have the option to, like, just sit back and power up our boys. As long as Ninetales is never knocked out. We don't ever attach to it. We're fine. Unless they play Mimikyu. Right here can be perfect cannon fodder. We're getting three prizes, too. Crazy Claws. Here we go. We really, really need something good off the prizes. I don't even know what's prized. Null's good. Rainbow. Oh, okay. That's good. That's also good. I did not realize I prized that many. Oh, no, we can't do type null anymore. Okay, so we actually have to get a Sneasel down in order to go red and blue. We'll see what happens. If they play Mimikyu, we probably just lose. But if not, our game plan is just build up nine tails and hope they don't go double weak guard energy. That's not a weak guard energy. That's a capture. Our game plan set in motion here. It's not too bad. Maybe they don't even knock out my Sableye. No, they're going for it, Rip. I was like, no, maybe maybe they let the guy live. If only this, well, they would have knocked me out anyways. It doesn't matter if we were weak to grass or not. We just don't have enough HP. Double Eerie Beam would knock me out regardless if we were weak to grass, but it was worth a shot. Okay. He would just promote Crobat. We can win this. We, we have a couple turns to set up here. It's not too bad. Well, maybe it is bad. We need the Sneasel. I got rid of my Caitlyn Cynthia, which now I kind of regret because we can't even play this hand down. Hmm. But like they're doing 50, like 70 a turn. It's not really that bad. Plus we have Madalona, so. We're gonna attach to Nine Tails. We're gonna. Honestly, just pass. We just sit back, build up nine tails, take a one shot, and that's how we're gonna win. It's gonna have to be the play. Actually, yeah, that's fine. We should we shouldn't honestly attach nine tails. We should, but if they play Mimikyu, right? That's what I'm worried about. Is I'm playing Mimikyu. They're gonna boss my nine tails. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna Malolana here. We're gonna Malolana. Go back into the Crobat. Actually, we'll go into the Dene because well, they actually Crobat has more HP. No, they have the same amount of HP. I don't know. It doesn't really matter what I go into then. As long as they don't bench Mimikyu, we're fine. That's what I'm worried about, is I bench Mimikyu. Okay. What do we top deck? They call again. Take these two cards. Malo and Lana. Get rid of these, because they're useless. Not the Crobat. Still need to get a red and blue target. I guess. Hmm. Try out the energy. We can go. We can shift the energy around, which is what I'm going to do. If they play Mimikyu, it's game over. But I'm going to move the energy around so we can do. I'm going to move the energy around. If only we had an attacker that could take a hit from Orb Beetle. If they ever mention Mimikyu, though, we just lose, but we'll see. If only, if we could ever get, like, 10 damage on this thing, we literally would knock it out with Nine Tails Shapeshifter next turn. There's no way. Crobat can't attack because we got knocked out. Yeah, Cynthia, they're going to get boss back, probably. 
we needed honestly maybe we should just want aurora because all all we need here is a red and blue target right if we ever go red and blue we win we literally win with a flamethrower no i think i use mahalo that means they might get ah uh, that's pretty bad they might get what they need they might get the weak card, but they still have double orb beetle, so we can still boss. Can Crowback get knocked down in two hits? 50 damage. We'll s I don't think I can. We still need air balloon, though. Still have one left. Yeah, they're gonna go behind the doll, that's fine. Ooh, big heads. They're probably gonna get boss back, I'm guessing, right? Gonna be boss. I could get quick ball and they could go mimic you. I gotta assume they're playing the Mimikyu, right? Oh, they are gonna get boss. As long as they can't win the game. Oh, that's a bad top deck, because now we can't even do the red and blue. Well. Wouldn't mind them Marnie and me, to be honest. How many comms do we have left? I don't think we have... We got one comm left, I think. How many tag calls do we have left? We can get rid of... I guess we get rid of Guzmahala. Burn this. We have Sneasel, Calm. We still have... Yeah, we still have actually a lot of good stuff in the deck. We can Dis Reload. Maybe we can rip the nuts. No, dude! Now we can't do Red and Blue! Ah, uh, We can still win next turn as long as we don't whiff Air Balloon. So nothing can get one shot by the Ore Beetle, so... Just pass. Again, if they mention Mimikyu, we just lose. But if they don't mention Mimikyu, we go Nine Tails. And they can't go double weak art either. So, like, they have to choose one or Beetle to protect. And then we boss it. And then we Dead Cage into Air Balloon. Oh, they could get the Wonders Labyrinth now, though. But they can't. Um... Yeah, Wonders Labyrinth is actually really bad, too. Nope. They're not going to get it. Okay, cool. Maybe they don't want to play it. I don't know. Do they expect the Nine Tails Shapeshifter? Again, we still lose to... We still lose... We could lose to a stamp here. No, we have Dedenne and Silvali still. Okay. We just need Air Balloon to win this. So we can go... Attach. We can draw a card. No, we can go boss, draw two cards. We can see eight cards here, so we should be able to win. No, we can see our whole deck, right? Yeah, I think we won. So we go boss, the volley. No, we don't see our whole deck. And they can see it anyways. So I was going to say, we daddy change. Hopefully the air balloon is not the last card in our deck. And we take home the dub over Ore Beetle there with Weavile Aurora Box. Honestly, I didn't. I wasn't very confident in that match, if you could tell. that It's just hard to beat. Ore Beetle's got a lot of HP. I don't know if they played Mimikyu or not. That was the big thing there. I don't know if they had the Mimikyu or not. Um... Like, literally, if they ever put a Mimikyu in play, we never could win the game. Like, literally, it's, like, impossible to win that if they ever put a Mimikyu in play. So, we got really lucky they didn't have Mimikyu, I guess. So that was pretty close. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to try this deck out again here for one more game. Won the coin flip. See if we get to go with a good start. Not bad. We'll start with Sableye. Always air balloon it. Yeah, I'll start with Sableye. Fine. Eh, yeah, I don't really want to start Sneasel. I don't want my Weavile or Sneasel to get knocked out. I don't even know what they're playing. Okay, they open with a Dedenne. So, we have a couple options here. I think we're just going to calm for the Type Null. And we're going to use this Tag Hall for Weavile. We prized... Got other attackers. My low tick's good. We could be playing against a Welder deck. All the Auroras. We did prize one Dark Energy, though. We got all our Air Balloons. We'll just chill out for a turn. Sableye's not really that good right now because it's literally doing 10 damage i guess like we have load search but i think oh well would you look at that we're against adb oh my gosh ADB! and they marnie me and that sucks this hand was actually this was honestly an amazing hand so that sucks see what we get now okay, we still got the red and blue we're gonna have to put the volume play and the dead coming down Ooh, that's a huge discard okay Maybe we have a shot of beating this. Probably not, though, right? If they, if they have an creation, we just lose. But maybe they prize with their water. Umbreon Darkrai actually might be the best card in this situation. 
we need a lot of stuff, but I actually wouldn't mind going Umbreon Dark right here. Especially if we get into a Dark Moon GX. So... Hmm. Here's what we're going to do. Attack. We're going to Red and Blue for the Silvali. I kind of wish we kept the Calm, to be honest, but... This still works out. I have an idea. If we go on Beyond Dark right here, this is huge. Especially if we get into another Red and Blue next turn. This is going to be a huge turn. So we bench this. Disc Reload. Okay, we whipped the energy. No, we didn't. What am I saying? We got everything. Dark. Um, yeah, we're going to go on Beyond Dark right, which is really good. This is the star we needed. They didn't get energy on their ADP either, so we might not have to worry about that. Very, 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 very fair and balanced alter creation. We actually could try to boss and cake out both the Denes. We don't have that ADP, but we can always crazy closet. So I think we do hit ADP just to set up to be KO'd. And this thing, I mean, eh, yeah, this is fine. Then we can try to move Darkrai into the Sableye. What we can do is we can tank off for Guzmahala, go into the Sableye, knock out the ADP. Then we have this to finish this off for later on. And they got the alter creation. Nice. They didn't even need to dig for their only other water energy in their deck. It was just in their hand. And they play two water energy. I mean, I don't understand ADP, bro. That The deck is just makes no sense, bro. So we can't tag call for another red and blue. So we have to go for the Sableye KO here. Which is fine. As long as they don't play a 10 damage modifier on my guy, we should be okay. They actually bench the other ADP, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they did that, but I will take it. I will take that because now we just... Oh, they're going to Great Catcher me. That's fine. We still go with the Uzmahala play. As long as I don't... I don't know. Do something insane. Mm, we might actually be able to win this, though. Who would have thought the matchup against ADP being winnable? It's... I don't know. ADP does see... And there's a Saucer. All right. Yeah, there we go. Only one energy, though. The Alter Creation, we knock them out here. As long as we didn't prize the two other air balloons. We can always just mainly retreat, though. Yep, Guzma Hall's in there. Get rid of the Maulana, too. It's probably pointless. Eh. Well, actually, we should get rid of another red and blue, because we only have one left. We can always Cain Lucynthia, anyways. Not really a big deal. Take the air balloon. Okay. We'll do Disc Reload. What I'm looking for here is probably an Aurora Attacker. I guess Ninetales. Ask you, shall we see? Go put two energy here. Maybe we shouldn't even have bothered you. No, we can just having the one shot on the Zacian, I think, is pretty effective at the end of the day. Crazy cost. Bye bye ADP. Unfortunately, they got the alter creation off because, you know, again, they somehow found their only other water energy in their deck. And that was in their hand, and they have the E-Switch, because, you know, ADP definitely is definitely fair that they can alter creation in a single turn. That's definitely, definitely fair and balanced. Definitely ADP shouldn't get banned. Actually, when this video is uploaded, it's going to be uploaded on the 4th of February, which there's apparently a ban announcement. So maybe when you're watching this, ADP already got banned. Praise God if it did. If not, unfortunately, we have to deal with this ADP card for another seven months until August. Fun times. Okay. Oh, they got the knockout out of nowhere, of course. Good old Metal Saucer. Who needs ultimate ray? So can we win this still? And we cannot. We're very far behind. I think we just lose if they ever get another double metal saucer. They need to find two saucers. Eh, that's asking for a lot, but we don't have hand disruption. We have to go Umbreon Darkrai, but we don't one-shot them. I think we're going to lose this, guys. I think we're going to lose this. Okay. We can't even attack with Umbreon Dark, actually. I just realized. Yeah, we have to go Ninetales knockout and hope they don't respond to KO. Yeah, we have no way to disrupt their hand. So, I mean, if they just have... Yeah, if they just have the double saucer here, it's game over. There's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Yeah. There's not much I can do about that. Is there anything I can grab here that could help us? Nothing, right? We have to knock them out nine tails, and then we gotta pray they don't saucer saucer attach. Their hand's massive. They have a crowbat left to work. No, actually they don't. They have the drawn of the saucers and the energy, which I mean I don't know what else I can do in this situation. 
I can't go Umbreon on Darkrai because the Aurora energy can't be moved. Hmm. I think that's our last stand here, guys. I think we have to just, yeah. This is our last stand. We have to go Nine Tails and hope for the best. I mean, I've said this a million times, but if we don't lose this turn, we will win the game with Umbreon Darkrai, so there you go. So, we have a shot of winning this. Not over yet. We still have a chance of winning. We have to go Umbreon Darkrai next turn with red and blue. Okay. Here we go. We just need to hope they don't get the nuts, right? They need they get the nuts, we lose. Treat, catch, eval. Here we go. So they need to not... Yeah, they just need to not knock me out and we win the game. If they don't, we win the game. Yep, yeah, that's how it goes. All right, here we go. Ninetales Shapeshifter. They just need double saucer attach and we lose. If not, we're going to win with a dark right play. So it's going to come down to this, guys. Here we go. Uh, I'm scared. Oh, no, I don't have it. Dude. don't have it. Here we go. The moment of truth. Their hand's massive, but they don't have any draw left, so there's a chance. There is still a chance. Mawile, does that knock me out? They only has 190 damage, I think, right? So he's... Well, they could also great catcher me. Okay, yeah, we're definitely losing then, right? Because they can just still gust something on the bench. Well, actually, no. The Mawile can't knock out anything on the bench. There's nothing... There's no Dedenny or Kerbat play, right? Yo, are we actually about to beat an ADP deck? Yo, no way, bro. ADP, you can never beat it, bro. It's un it's unlosable. Beating ADP would be impressive, not gonna lie. This only does 190 damage, so, like, there's nothing on the bench they can knock out. And win the game anyways. They can knock out Type Knowledge Measle, obviously. Well, they already attached. So that means they can't go with Zacian. So I actually think we're gonna win this as long as they don't play, like, a Vitality Band or something. If they play Vitality Band, they can knock me out and do 200 damage with the mawile i think yo are we actually about to win this game no way well i guess yeah they can boss trap something i guess but then we just move retreat red and blue we're still gonna win this we still have enough energy and play to win right because we can copy they're gonna win the adp okay we win we win oh my god we just beat an adp deck what Oh, shoot. So, that's game, right? We go red and blue. As long as we have a target for red and blue, which I think we definitely do, yeah. We go red and blue. Two energy. Go here. Go here. Go here. Yeah, that's game. We won. We just go dark cry, knock out to Dene. Let's go. We beat an... We actually managed to beat an ADP deck with this Aurora Box deck. That's impressive. I thought this matchup was an auto loss because the prize trade is just not good enough because your opponent needs to knock out two of your Pokemon and they win the game. But somehow, some way, we managed to just beat an ADP deck. And you know what? You love to see it. Get that garbage out of here. Hopefully, when this is uploaded, ADP got in... It got announced that it got banned. But that'll wrap the video, guys, on the deck fun deck to play honestly it was really enjoyable i really actually thought this deck was good um maybe the only change i would make to it would probably be to cut the research for like another um another Silvali, or also you can probably just throw marnie in the deck too right so there's definitely some changes i could maybe make but honestly the list everything else i would honestly keep the exact same i don't think i would change a single thing about this list except for working around the researches maybe play a third boss or a great catcher that'll be it for the video guys on this deck if you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys enjoyed me smacking an adp deck in the face leave a like on the video sub down below if you're new to the channel help me in the world reaching 14,000 subscribers all that good stuff check out car down below use code all if you get any codes and check out my patreon down below if you guys want to play two dollars a month you can guys get access to exclusive content and i'll see you guys in another video have a good day. Bye-bye.